everyone, it's Michelle Barada and welcome to Bella Branch TV. Today's DIY is another no sew project. I know these are popular. You guys wrote them in your comments and I have some more for you. So this one is another bag. I know that the pencil bag and the makeup case was super popular, but this one I love. This one's so cool. And we're gonna make embellished in uh, like with a monogram on there. Here's one with an L, here's one with an M, here's one with a G. I think they turn out so cool and you guys are gonna have so much ma fun making them. It's literally fabric glue, fabric and ribbon and a zipper and that's it. So are you ready to get started? Well, let's go. What you'll need for this project is some heavy duty fabric, a nine inch zipper, no sew glue, scissors, an iron, some trim and ribbons, some pins, and you're set. First, we're gonna start with a 10 and a half inch by 15 inch piece of fabric. And mine's kind of a, like a, light, a white denim. You want heavy duty like upholstery fabric. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a monogram. So you're gonna put whatever letter you want on your case. You could do a heart, you could do a shape if you want, but we're gonna do letters today. So what you wanna do is you see, I pointed out two inches from above, you don't want your letter to go up higher. You wanna leave two inches at least from the top because your zipper's gonna end up going there. After you draw your letter, you're gonna start gluing your embellishments and trims and ribbons on. And this is a really fun part of the whole thing. So you're just gonna kind of make it like a mishmash of all different ribbons. So I started off with this cool little trim that uh, has pom-poms. This one's kind of a funky one. Here's some velvet ribbon and I'm gonna add some sequins on top of that. And a lot of these fabrics, or a lot of these ribbons, like the pom-pom trims, I got at Michael's, and then the other ones, like the sequins, I got at a fabric store. And they're not very expensive, and you can buy small yardages. And then you're gonna just follow along, and what you're doing is you're just taking the fabric glue, and you're just putting a bead of that glue around as you go on the letter that you just drew. And then like me, I like adding things on top. So I added some more little gold trim over that red velvet ribbon. And then right here, I had this cool, it's kind of like an eyelashy kind of a trim that I really liked. So I wanted to add that there. And then I'm gonna add some more sequins on there because I, I thought that balanced it off um, from the other sequins that I put over on the, the, the teal side. Look how cool that is. I think it's so cool. Now it's time to add the zipper. So you wanna open up your fabric and then you're gonna put your monogram side down. And you're going to take a half inch on both sides and iron that in for a seam allowance to add your zipper. Then you see how I have the zipper pull facing up? You're gonna put that at the center of the fabric and then put a bead of your fabric glue on one side and be sure not to get it close to the actual zipper mechanism because it will keep it shut forever. And then gently press down the fabric with the folded side that you just did, the half inch seam allowance, and gently press that along. And you're gonna do that on the other side as well. And then you're gonna let that dry. And it's gonna take a couple hours to dry enough to work on it again, but it's gonna fully dry in about 24 hours. After that part dries, you're going to open it up, open the zipper up, and you're gonna flip it inside out. Now it's time to glue the sides shut. So with the zipper at the top, what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna decide where you want your zipper to be. At first I close it and then I kind of position it. See how I have it where it's about a half inch down from the top? That's because I want the zipper to be decorative above my monogram. I like that look about that. So then what you wanna do after you've decided where you wanna position it, you're gonna open up your zipper about halfway 
and start putting a bead of glue along the sides. So starting with one side and then you're going to position the, uh, uh, the two pieces together and sandwich them together. Then flip it over and then you're going to do it on the other side. And then you're going to take the other side and put a bead of glue down that side. And then I take some pins and I just push them through to where the zippers are to hold it secure while it's drying. And then on each bottom corner I put also a pin there. After that's dry you're going to turn your beautiful case inside out. This is the part that's exciting. Look how cool it turned out. I love how these turn out. Then you're going to add a little ribbon or trim to the zipper pull because I think it's more decorative and it's easier to pull also. I hope you guys love today's project. I think it turned out fantastic. I love it. And here's my favorite, the L for my daughter Lily. Although I do like the M because it's for me. And, oh, and the G, I have to say, turned out great too. That's for my niece, Grace, who will freak out that I'm talking about her right now on the channel. Hi, Grace. So I hope you guys love today's DIY. Be sure to comment below. I get back to every single comment. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos because I post every Saturday and Sunday and you don't want to miss any of them. So thanks again and I hope you guys have a great week. And be sure to comment and let me know what you thought about the video today. And also subscribe for new videos I upload every Saturday and Sunday. And before you go, why don't you try out one of my other videos by clicking on one of the videos you see on your screen right now. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.